Hi everyone, I'm Halo Goddess and this is another pick a card video which is going to be all about who is the person that is talking about you behind your back and what is this person talking about when it comes to you and what are this person's intentions and um, also who is this person so it's going to be centered all around this topic and I've got three options again. The very first option is the man on the very left. Then we have the lady in the center, which is the second option. And lastly, we've got the man on the very right being the third in the last group. The timestamps are going to be given in the description box below as usual. And you can choose whichever option is calling out to you the most. You can also choose more than one option if you wish to. And with that being said, let's move on to the first option, the man on the very left. Okay, so if you chose any option number one, these are all of the cards that I have for you. I have the five of swords, then we have ten of pentacles. Um, the seven of swords, then we have nine of swords, seven of cups, then we have judgment, four of cups, Ace of Wands and the Devil at last. And I also do have a couple of cards off camera as usual. The topic is going to be all about who is talking about you behind your back. Or if there is anybody who is gossiping about you um, in relation to anything really, um, then I'm going to talk about this topic in detail. This person, I'm going to figure out who this person is. And this is more than just a single individual who is... Um, engaging in a conversation when it comes to you behind your back even if it's not gossip you know this is not just gossip centric anyone who is talking about you behind your back what is it that they're talking about when it comes to you and what are this person's intentions so let's see what do we have okay I'm hearing the word meatloaf Okay, I'm hearing for some of you, somebody's sun sign could be in a fire sign. Um, that would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm hearing for some of you, there's something to do with singing here. Maybe somebody has like a... The person that's talking about you behind your back, this person, I don't know if this person is literally... Um, I don't know if this person is okay I'm you know I'm hearing something interesting so now regardless of the fact that you are a fire sign or not or this person is um, I am sensing that first of all I'm, I'm feeling really dizzy all of a sudden so I don't know who this um, what kind of energy I'm picking up on um, but I do see that there is somebody who is either manifesting you or trying to lure you in i don't want to say in their trap but for some of you it's not that this is something like this is someone a villainous or something of that kind i i'm not really sensing that it's just that there's this energy of attraction that i sense but before that it's almost like somebody's trying to literally um magnetize you towards them by doing certain things you may not be aware of these things maybe this person is um i don't know talking to their friend making a strategy or just kind of reflecting on what happened but this person is trying to oh okay for some of you if you are manifesting someone and you know who this person is I can assure you that this person is being drawn to you like it's insane like this is crazy and also at the same time I want to say that this person is not just being drawn to you but also at the same time they're going so crazy that this person is literally speaking to one of their friends or like I don't know who this person is they're speaking to but they're speaking to this person about you yeah Someone's name could start with C or K, I'm hearing. Um, but certainly I do see that there's this feeling of um, someone trying to lure the other person in. Almost like entice the other person. 
if it's not you, if you're not the one manifesting, this person is making some sort of a strategy or um, should I say, if it's not a strategy, this person does want you to be um, magnetized towards them. They want you to be drawn to um, them. That's the sort of feeling I get. Yes. Okay, I am also sensing that you are the kind of a person that, this is how this person sees you, you are the kind of a person, you know when um, you date someone and this person is like really out of your league, not just out of your league, but it's almost like, you know when you really reach out to someone or you do um, ask someone out who you feel like is very different very much in demand um that's when things start to get a bit wonky and what i'm trying to say is um let me explain so it's almost like this person sees you as someone who is so um admired by a lot of people or like desired like there's some factor that you have um like you have an edge over everyone or over this person at least and because of this edge it's almost like this person does want you, but there is also some sort of a drawback when it comes to this situation. Or it's almost like, you know, when you um, start to date somebody who is out of your league and then you start dating and you have this feeling in your heart like this cannot be this good. Like there has to be something wrong in this person. Like either this person's going to be too, um, I don't know, egoistic, or this person's going to be too um, narrow-minded, I don't know, something of that kind, um, or self-centered. That's the sort of feeling that I see. This person feels like you look perfect, but in like you just look so perfect from the outside, or from the outside the situation looks so perfect, but they have this feeling that if something were to really happen then i don't know it's almost like this person cannot just experience the roses they also would have to experience the thorns alongside the roses and that's the sort of feeling i get also somebody smells really nice i see maybe somebody complimented you um or you complimented someone um yeah that's what i get and someone also um, could be wearing glasses I see that too I'm hearing this person has lots of faces also um, okay You know what? Whoever this person is that is speaking about you, I'm hearing this person can craft any amount of lies or like they will craft lies one after the other. If they get caught, then they would craft another lie just to hide that one. Um, just so they can get close to you. Just so they can get just so they can get you. You know, this person would go to any length. So somebody's name starts with S. Um and K as well, I'm hearing. So, I don't know who this person is, but they're pretty obsessed, I would say. Yes. Um, someone has got dark hair. I see that too. And... Okay. What else? This person's image of you, or like the way they perceive you, is very, um, I have to be honest, it feels very um, like it. they have kind of heard things from someone and it's not their own. It's almost like I'm sensing this person does not know you very well. I'm also sensing that this person feels like they have not got 
a lot of time left in this connection or like to make a move also um certainly this person has lost hopes for sure um and that's evident because we have got five swords as the very first card um this person feels like there are other people in the picture um maybe you're involved with other people you're speaking with i don't know you're probably seeing someone or something of that kind but i do sense the energy of like this person feeling this way you know um and um This person also feels that you have closed the door on them or like are about to close the door on this person. That sort of thing. Okay. That's interesting. Something could have happened around um, October or even September for some of you. That's another thing I see. Like last September. Yes. I'm hearing the word weed. This person feels like they are a weed in our life. I don't know who this person is, but certainly they're not feeling the best. And it's clear in the cards. So clear. Um, you and this person are also in very different energies. This person also sees you as someone who is um, very, um, how do I describe? You could be somebody who has either a loud personality or you're just really expressive or you have something really vibrant about you, about your persona. And that really speaks to people, that really stands out and... Um, that's one of the first things that this person um, was really drawn to. I also do see somebody wearing some gold accessories. Um, that too could be a sign. Yes. Um, someone could also love to wear the color red. Or probably you wore red when you went to meet this person. Or you will soon. Um, there might be... An encounter in the near future with this person that's another thing I see you know what this person is so um, into this situation right now like their thoughts are so um, like you are so um, deeply affecting this person and their mind and their state right now that their energy is quite strong and it's around you and you might be seeing this person in your dreams or something of that kind even um i'm hearing somebody's name could be i heard evan or something yeah i don't know um so also, D could be somebody's initial. It's almost like this person is asking somebody a question or asking themselves a question how to do something or how to how to do something or how to get something done. Almost like that. Um, somebody's teeth could be really sharp. I see that too. Yes. So I'm going to finish off this part right here. If you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also, subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Okay, so if you've chosen the option of a second, and these are all of the cards that I have for you. I have the Six of Wands, then we have the Lovers. Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords, then we have Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups, 
four of wands two of pentacles and lastly we've got six of swords for you all so those are all of the cards that i have for you and i do have a couple of cards off camera as usual um the topic is going to be all about who's the person that is talking about you behind your back um this can also include gossip as well but this is not centered around gossip only so just to let you know um somebody who's talking about you behind your back what are they talking about when it comes to you um also what are this person's intentions towards you what this person is like their personality um probably their initials anything when it, like anything comes to this connection that you have with this person and who they are so i'm going to talk about all of it in this um pile let's see what do we have okay This person has very peculiar, I'm sorry if I um, startled you, but I'm sensing this person has really peculiar hobbies. Um, and when I say peculiar, it's almost like the kind of things this person likes to do or the activities this person that gets this person interested are really strange. Um, you know those people who like collecting things and like... Um, I don't know um, they have these sort of objects which make no sense to like the rest of the people but it holds so much meaning to this one person to them you know so it's almost like this person has a certain hobby or something which is a bit strange someone who's really good at this person is um, what's the word i can use to describe this person wise i would say this person is wise this person is um and you know it's almost like the way this person looks um is the way this person talks to you the way this person is like as a whole everything screams that this person is so wise or experienced or mature whatever you want to call it okay this person is really um this is the kind of a person who would never please someone they're not into people pleasing i see that too i also i'm sensing a feeling that you might have you also think really good about this person i want to say and I also want to say that probably you were interested in this person first and then they got interested in you. And then probably you lost interest or something happened, but it could be that way. Number six is really significant as well. Somebody has really sharp features. I see facial hair also. Um, this person also has changed their look. Something about their appearance is so different now. Um, I don't know what this person has done to their look but something has changed they don't look the same but yes i'm also hearing the word newfound interest so this person could have gotten this sort of uh, feeling um i don't know like when they met you and this interest is so um it's so strong and it's also it could also be recent like something could have happened recently that could also be the case yes someone could also be an aries i see that too scorpio as well um yes certainly oh i don't know wait where is this i'm hearing somebody made a lasting impression on someone oh okay yes also somebody probably 
underestimated you a little bit or kind of did not expect you to turn out the way you did you surprised someone i want to say um yeah this person thought that it was just something was something was so different about you which they found out later not at that point in time yes I'm wearing tangerine, so somebody could be wearing that color, or yeah, maybe somebody's persona is very vibrant, like a tangerine, like the color of the tangerine, and um, someone's name could be I'm wearing Doug or like Douglas, even D could be significant. Uh, first name or last name. Also, I'm hearing um, somebody's last name starts with S specifically. Um, K as well. Okay. It's almost like you also didn't probably understand this person in the beginning. And they also did not understand you they certainly do not this person thought of you as some somebody completely different from how you turn out to be for this person yes um i'm hearing now it's back and forth now it's back and forth Okay, I'm wondering if someone's playing games. It's almost like you know this person is playing a game and you're kind of playing. Or you're kind of ready. Like you're not afraid. That's the sort of thing. Yes. I'm also hearing make up your mind. Okay. I was hearing somebody's, um, someone's making a joke, which is a bit inappropriate. That's what I heard. Where somebody probably made a joke, which was not funny. Like, it's almost like somebody made a joke and you were like, oh, it's not funny, you know? Um, stop doing that. Or something of that kind. Like, something inappropriate. If it's not a joke, something that was supposed to be funny. Or like, maybe they were just trying to your leg or something i don't know but that's kind of what i heard um i'm hearing the word nemesis okay so his name could also start with p somebody's eager to know about you if this person, um, either this person is, um, um, I don't know, aware of like psychics and stuff, if they were, and if there was, I'm not even joking with you, if there, there was a psychic, um, which this person was aware of, they would literally go to this psychic or tarot reader and they would get to know about you. They would want to know every bit of information that they can extract um, about you. Someone could also be highly introverted. This person is like, oh my goodness, wait. Things are not open in this pile. Like, things are so closed and so hidden. And even in the beginning, everything that I thought this re reading was this reading was going to be about it's so completely different and it's so um like it has um 
gone astray from there um um i don't know how the light just flickered literally it was kind of crazy but never mind um someone could also be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn this person could have strong earth placement or you could um yes someone also has got really nice hair like thick hair i see um what else do we have This is an old connection, I have to be honest. Um, if it's not old, it feels like one. It feels like you have spent time with this person. And it's almost like this person has a picture of you and they're looking at it. It's almost like this person is um, being reminiscent of the times that you and this person spent together. That's another thing I see. Number nine, number six could or six is already something I mentioned, but number nine is also coming up. As I said, things are really, really hidden. You might not even suspect this person, you know. You might not not even like have a clue. Maybe a slight bit, but not like it's not going to be obvious. It's not something but which is in your face, you know. Um, certainly. And um, this is an artistic person, somebody who likes to read, who likes to, um, this is a, this is a sort of a person who's different from the crowd, you know, somebody who's not very, not like others, this is, this person is different, their tastes, um, the kind of things this person is interested in, their preferences, their opinions, really different, vastly different, I see. Someone's name could also start with A. And this person and you are somewhere similar, I want to say. And that's also the reason why this person is so drawn to you. And I'm being drawn to the lover's card when I'm saying this. It's almost like this person sees a reflection of themselves in you and they don't even realize. And you see um, your reflection in this person. Kind of like you see in this card, Eight of Swords, how um, this girl looks in this, I don't know what this is, if it's a mirror or if it's a, um, if it's water, but this person can see the reflection. As I said, this person is trying to find something. Find something out. And when I said newfound interest, it's almost like this connection could have been old. Um, but it's almost like this person has... Something has rekindled the feelings or like, should I say, the emotions within this person. Someone's name could also start with O. I'm hearing or someone did say right now, uh, maybe listening to this um, video or in their head, oh, so this could be shocking or something about this pile could be shocking to someone. Yes, um, so that's what I see. And I'm going to finish off this part right here. If you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Okay, so if you've chosen the option number third or the last group, is all of the cards that I have for you. I have the five of wands then we have seven of swords nine of wands ace of discs then we have six of discs the teacher which is the hierophant in this deck and then we have the hanged man the fool and the temperance and lost and i also do have a couple of cards off camera as usual the topic is going to be all about 
who is the person that is talking about you behind your back and this can also include gossip as well but this is not centered only around gossip that's what i do want to clarify so somebody who is talking about you behind your back what are they talking about when it comes to you and who is this individual what are their intentions towards you and specific details about their connection with you so let's see what do we have for this topic and also what are they talking about like when it comes to you i think i already said that but um never mind so somebody could have a tattoo somebody could have that sort of a chic style to them like they dress very um i don't know i'm almost getting sort of a gothic vibe from someone like when you look at them you get that sort of a i don't know like a gothic vibe you know or somebody is that way okay number eight is really significant to someone this could be a very close friend for some of you um yes this is again i feel like it's mutual it's not one-sided or it used to be mutual maybe it's one-sided now um yes i feel like you also talk about this person sometimes and then talk about you as well oh my goodness i'm oh my goodness i'm getting a really strange message here if you lost someone like i've never get gotten this kind of a message but if you have lost someone i don't know if you have literally lost someone like from the 3d um or if this like somebody exited your life because of certain reasons or uh because of i don't know some circumstances i'm sensing that this person is talking about you even if this person is as i said not in contact with you or just not in this world um that's very specific i got okay somebody could also have a dog somebody could love dogs something about that is coming up this person could have a dog as well is this person that's talking about you behind your back now if that message did not resonate with you i'm hearing is they could have lost someone recently like very recently they could have lost someone uh, very close to them and that's the person who is talking about you behind your back yes And the reason why this person is talking about you i'm hearing the reason why this person is talking about you out of all the people is because this person is they had they had the sort of a connection with you or maybe you have that ability to connect with people on a very deep level you could be somebody who is an empath you could be um really good at expressing yourself uh making conversations um yes you could be very upfront about your feelings and stuff i don't know or you just connect with people quite easily there's something about you that gets you to connect with people just like that um i feel like for this person out of all the people why this person is talking about you is because of the connection they had with you was really deep this person was touched in a way they've not been by anybody um it is because of you this person is talking about you and they it's positive um all in all it's positive i want to say they're speaking good when it comes to you good about you i'm hearing no more spreading rumors so if somebody was um bad towards you or should i say um somebody 
um, spreaded rumors about you. Maybe this person has realized and like they're in regret or something of that kind. I see. Okay. It's almost like somebody has a change of heart. I'm also sensing. I also see a snake. If you have seen a snake recently um, in a dream or like anywhere really, and that's a sign for you. This could be somebody you were really close to, um, or this could be somebody who could be like your, um, who's a childhood friend or something. So his name starts with M, I'm hearing, and also um, T. Number four is really significant here. And I'm hearing somebody saying, my God. So I don't know what happened, but it's almost like somebody is saying that out loud. It's so crystal clear, I just heard it. It's almost like somebody's shocked at some revelation or something, some sort of an information being revealed to them or like that could be just somebody's way of expressing things. I don't know. Take it how it resonates with you. I feel like this connection is not um, in the picture. We have the five wands as the very first card. There could have been a conflict with that. Um, and then we have seven of swords. An unresolved conflict at that. Then we have nine of wands. I mean, how worse can it get? Um, then the ace of desks, which is the end of it all. Ace of desks is not any aces, really. Um, if they kind of fall out. For a connection which has been going on for some time that's not a very good sign i mean obviously there are exceptions but in this case i see it's not it didn't work it didn't um survive whatever this was however i want to say that this person could have had really massive realizations. They could be going through this phase of realizations right now because we have the hanged man and then we have the teacher. And with this teacher, I'm sensing this feeling that I don't know why I chose this deck for you guys, but there's a reason I was meant to see this card the teacher and the hanged one next to it it's almost like the universe or your guides there is some sort of a being i want to say like a divine being who you're really really connected to and this divine being is ensuring that this person realizes every bit of it okay also it's like the life that they've led up to this point, or should I say, um, they're being taught the lesson of their actions. And they are made to suffer the consequences. Life is a teacher to this person at this current point. This person is becoming wise, finally, or somebody is maturing, finally. So maybe this person could have acted immature, um, like a fool, almost. Because we have the full card. Someone's name could start with R. I'm hearing that. And I'm hearing you have won. You have won this game or like the situation. There's nothing you need to do. You won this without even trying, without even having to do anything. So effortlessly, so elegantly. 
I'm hearing everyone's praising you. Yes, um... I feel like for you, you really focused on money and career right now. Or some sort of a move that you have to make. Maybe you have to go somewhere. Maybe there's a trip you are planning. This person, if they choose to come towards you, it would be a, a very... I want to say, I'm hearing the word inappropriate, but that's not the right word. The reason why they're using this word is because it is going to be not the best time for this person so let me try to explain it um you are going to be celebrating something you are going to be um reaping the fruits of your efforts and you're just going to be in the best state and you're just you're just going to be living your best life and that is probably the time you will come across this person or they might contact you if they choose to do so um and if that happens, it's almost like this person is never meant to come back in our life. And you're never meant to take them back. When this happens, you're just going to be in such a good state that it's not going to make any difference to you. Something about the color green is coming up very strongly. Someone could have dark skin, I see. Deeper skin tone, I see that. And um, people are talking about you. I feel like there's more than just a single individual who is talking about you. About, not just about you, but about the kind of things you have in life. The way you are, especially. Um, yes. And these people are speaking really highly of you. Let me just say that. Yes. Um, someone could also be a Sagittarius. I was here in Capricorn. If you see a cat, that's a sign as well, I'm hearing. Um, so I'm going to finish off this part right here. If you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also, subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. And... Um, Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time.